We are now open for business. This is Cesar Vallejos bringing you yet another episode to guide you in discovering your passion and growing your business as we learn from experts in the field. Sama-sama tayong matuto sa isa na namang makabuluhang usapan tungo sa pagpapaunlad ng inyong negosyo. Ang Open for Business ay mapapanood nyo rin sa Facebook at YouTube. Siguraduhin na rin mag-like at mag-subscribe sa aming social media page at Net25TV. Ating alamin at suriin mula sa mga negosyante, thought leaders at mga personalidad sa iba't ibang larangan ang mga strategies trends at mahalagang karanasan sa pagninegosyo dahil tayo ay open for business. In today's episode, let us find out how we can advocate for our own culture to be at the forefront of fashion. Ang mga katagang pinya, husi, inabel, abaka, yakan ay ilan lamang sa mga kilalang local o indigenous materials sa ating bansa. And these have been showcased in international fashion events through our local designers or craftsmen. At panahon na para palawigin ang pagtangkilik sa mga katutubong materyales na ito upang gamitin sa ating pang-araw-araw na kasuotan, formal man o casual. How do we make more people wear local? What are the obstacles in making these fashionable pieces more accessible and how does pop-up stores help in raising awareness on these unique pieces we'll find out from our special guest miss mons romulo the visionary behind katutubo only here and open for business Welcome to Open for Business. Today we are graced by entrepreneur Ms. Mons Romulo, founder of Katutubo PH. She is also a writer, events organizer, and a mother. Kumusta po kayo, Ms. Mons? Mabuti naman, mabuti. Maraming salamat for having me in your show, your program. When I saw you, Nahiya ako kasi I was in Americana. Ano, pero baka made in the Philippines naman. Definitely. That's still okay. yeah. Definitely this is made in the Philippines. Yeah. And um, I noticed because we will be talking about fashion mm. and the fashion designs by Filipinos and stores yeah. owned by Filipinos. What are you wearing now? Well, this is by Amari, a classmate of mine sa Assumption. Um, this was done by hand embroidered by women in Batangas. Mm -hmm. But hindi ganun kadali eh, because it's not the regular weaves that we see or embroidery that we see being done, uh, that we see everywhere. Mm -hmm. Talagang it, we want our entrepreneurs, our merchants to make sure that kakaiba yung kanilang mga borda. Mm -hmm. So, um, five years na ito, itong suot ko. Wow. But still good quality. Yes, Actually, and it looks brand ko new. Hanggang shoes ko. What Lahat. are these? Are these these produced by Filipinos and and, all? and using local weaves? Even my my espadrilles, mm -mm. Look, using it's mm -mm. using local weaves all, and you know we can be proud of it. And it, hindi ito bago. Lahat luma na ito mga three years na, but you can wear and rewear it. And, Maganda ang quality. And off cam, while Kajoy was doing the finishing touches, mm -hmm. even your earrings are ah, yes, locally, locally produced. Locally produced, locally made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm always proud wearing. Uh, Filipino, Filipino made um, things, jewelries and clothes. Dahil mm -hmm. maganda talaga ang quality eh. Para I'm so proud. You were telling me about your travels earlier and you saw, you know, how beautiful and how proud they are how wearing their national clothes. Wearing their national clothes. Uh, clothes. Uh, nangyari kasi, uh, na-notice ko rin here sa atin, I was, wala pang spouse yung brother ko, si Roman Romano. Ngayon, he's married to Shalani. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I was his acting spouse in Congress. And then my meeting from Batasan State to a dinner in Makati, I'd wear na my Filipina barong. When I arrived, 
linoloko ako. Kasi normally, pag naka-Pilipino, ano ka, either you work in government, or linggo ng wika, or Senator Legarda ka. So they tell me Senator Legarda, and you know, nakikita natin yung iba ng mga nakachong sam. And that's Chinese, which is also very beautiful. Pero maganda rin yung Filipino wear natin. So, mm. And when you said, when you go to Japan naman. Yes, mm. pag pumunta ka sa Japan, even Thailand, they proudly wear their Philippine costumes in the malls. Mm. In fact, I think meron silang batas na on certain days, pag naka-Japanese costume ka, you get a discount. Which I hope eventually our lawmakers will do something like that also to encourage us wearing local local wear. Do you think uh, with um, this administration, you know, of course, because, uh, you know, sometimes when you say terno, talagang hindi natin maiwasan na maisip natin na ang nagpauso ng terno ay si uh, uh, Madam Imelda Marcos. Do you think that this trend now will continue? Yeah, I think it will continue. Most especially with, we have a first lady. Iba my first lady ka and our first lady si uh, Lisa Marcos Araneta is very elegant and she's been wearing a terno um, and that's our Philippine wear that we should be proud of. But I've noticed sila Irene Marcos would be wearing the parang kimona, mm -hmm. the Philippines. So mm -hmm. it's beautiful also. So and dami natin eh, and dami natin Filipino wear that mm -hmm. we can proudly wear even in the malls, luncheons. So yung dream ko dati, pupunta lang ako sa isang luncheon and we're all, hindi ka pagtatawalan or hindi ka titignan na bakit ka nakabarong. Mm -hmm. Like now, with what I'm wearing now, I can easily go to a dinner after and it's already getting to be normal. But I'm happy with uh, having, with our new government now and our first lady, I'm sure it will be more in wearing mm -hmm. something Filipino. So it's uh, good news for everyone. Now, yeah. my question, Miss Mons, is um, when you wear um, anything that's Filipino or the Filipiniana, you know, what makes you confident? Is it, is it how it fits? Is it the, the fabric or is it the style? Because when you look at the Filipiniana and anything that's Filipino in it, sometimes you project a certain kind of emotion or sabi mo nga, minsan, pag nagsusuot ka ng terno or barong, parang you have to you know stand up straight as well. You have to really look formal and you look dignified. In your case, in your experience, what is it? You know, what feeling does it evoke? Altogether, first of all, important yung quality, quality ng fabric, quality ng how it's made. And we can wear a terno now wearing jeans. Hmm. Parang that's what we want. Gusto namin yung mga kabataan ngayon, the the teenagers. I mean, make it a part of their wear, even a denim terno. Mm -hmm. So, um, ako, whenever I wear something Filipino, I feel more, I feel happier. I feel proud. Mm -hmm. And then I feel proud that I'm wearing my culture. Mm -hmm. So, and in fact, whenever I go abroad, I was in Spain last week. Mm -hmm. I, I wore Filipino clothes there. Really? And, um, there was a time I was in New York, I was wearing the Tangkulo from Davao. I was in Neiman Marcos and the people were stopping me there. Tinatanong ako kung saan ko nabili yung scarf ko, yung tangkulo. <laughs> oh. So imagine something uh -uh. world-class na talaga tayo. We uh -huh. just have to take that next step and proudly wear it. Uh, mm -hmm. Iuso natin. Mm -hmm. that, so that's what we've been trying to do in Katutubo together mm -hmm. with Bench. Um, pinapauso na namin wearing Filipino. Uh, but you mentioned earlier, Miss Mons, that yes, you have this um, partnership with uh, uh, Mr. Ben Chan and uh, you try to uh, bring it to the mainstream. And of course, we also hear um, some projects of government and some private sector, you know, um, advocating for go local. Why you think it has to be given support or is it you know, helping also the community, or is it the art, you know, that is behind it? Well, unang-una sa akin, it's love. Love for my culture. I love it. Hindi mo naman mapapasot sa isang tao pag hindi niya mahal, di ba? And I love, I love my culture. I, ang ganda ng tahe, ang ganda uh, ng quality. But of course, yung iba, kailangan bantayan lang. That's one of the the things that that's why I put up Katutubo. Mm -hmm. um, wala tayong venue. We have in the malls, but wala pa rin tayong venue to, to show all these beautiful um, uh, 
goods and merchandise. So that's why we put up Katutubo para ipauso at sana mag, mag, ma-maintain na um, and I put up I put different merchants. We started 11 merchants lang. Mm-hmm. 11 merchants and good quality merchants. Sininan ko yung mga tahi nila. Kailangan maganda eh. Kasi hindi susuotin ng tao uh, pag, pag hindi naman maganda rin ang fabric at tahi. And look at what I'm wearing. Mm-hmm. Ano ito? Hindi and you na- said it's five, five years. Five years. Na. My shoes, I wear it the whole day. It's locally <laughs> made. Uh, kailangan rin ng quality so, um, we put up Katutubo, uh, we started with 11 merchants para mapakita. And, and uh, I targeted the people in uh, the higher higher social class mm-hmm. at first because silang may pera, eh, spending power to, to buy. Um, and then silang lumalabas sa mga magazines. Correct. So, pag nakita mo sa magazines, suot ni ganito or suot ni ganyan, lahat, all, hopefully everyone will follow already. So, uh, parang naging ganun yung ano, naging ganun yung naging pattern. We were happy with the response. Mm-hmm. And then now, before the pandemic, we went as high as 60, 60 merchants. Mm, wow. But we went lower now. We went as low as 30 because during the pandemic, we had to continue. Why? Because kawawa naman ang weavers natin, ang sewers natin. Pag, um, pag, Pag walang client, walang bibili ng merchandise ng mga merchants, uh, pang sweldo sa mga tao, I mean, dapat continuous pa rin. So even at the height of the pandemic, we really, um, we, we lessened our merchants, but we made sure that we continued, um, we continued promoting local Which, which is a good thing, Miss Mons, because siyempre alam naman natin, ang daming nagsara nung pandemia. Okay. Eh, lalo na, walang, wala rin bumibili. What exactly did you do during the pandemic? Mas inuuna nila ang pagkain noon. Uh, but this time, paano naman nga yung eh, mga nag-weave? You know, what, yes. what were your uh, strategies before? You know, uh, ma- mahirap. It was really hard. It was really hard, but uh, I had merchants, weavers, sewers calling me na kailangan nila ng pera, hindi ba? And mm-hmm. parang, uh, th- siguro it was, uh, parang one of my my missions also na parang hindi naman pwedeng you just drop drop it and and move on i can, i can do other things so i that when it was more challenging that's when i stepped up i spoke to ben chan and we had a, a place in his building sa bgc sabi ko kailangan continuous pero kalahati na lang merchants natin 30 mm-hmm. and then we followed the protocols and even two weeks before the the pop up, kung tingin namin delicado for everyone, we cancel we would cancel the pop up and move it to the next month. Mm-hmm. So um, basta wag lang totally na, na nawala. nawala. And then we have the trust of the merchants, we have the trust of the shoppers. We are priority na namin yung health mo. Surprisingly, there were shoppers coming in because they wanted also to help our weavers. Mm-hmm. So, madami rin tayong napakita na natin na maganda yung products natin. But, siguro, a lot, a lot of Filipinos rin couldn't go abroad and they had the spending power. So, they still went to Katutubo. Although, the sales were not that good. Ang sinasabi ko na lang sa mga merchants namin pag umiikot ako at that time, um, we have to go on. Basta, ano, uh, panatag dapat ng loob natin. Uh, don't worry, trust us. So, I, I went through social media. Mm-hmm. Social media was really a big factor. Chinachagaan ko, tinitext ko halos lahat ng pwede ko i-text na tao to invite them to come. And then, um, a press release sa Jario. And mm-hmm. at that time, rin, wala, wala masyadong social events. So, they were able to give us a good spread. And they were also, they wanted to help our cause. Miss Mons, parang you said earlier that, of course, with, with these products, somehow, what you opted initially was to offer to the to uh, them to the higher end clientele because they have the purchasing power pero pagdating ma'am sa mga produktong ito doon sa nasa um, pop-up stores ninyo how do you describe the price points and how do you compare it with the other brands Ako, that's a good question ang ginagawa ko um, and i'm happy that ben gave me the the authority to decide. Uh, hinahalo ko. Ang goal ko was hin- walang lalabas na walang nabili. So, ang price range ko were all different. Uh, and it was also my goal to yung mga, kung hindi ko gusto yung, yung um, tahe right after the pop-up, we would meet, we would tell them, basta keep the price low, uh, but maintain, but you have to give us more good quality, kahit na 
konti ang ang paninda nyo, basta kailangan high quality para mm-hmm. pagkatutubo, from katutubo, kailangan, they know, we we give high quality, it's well curated. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's also, ano, helping each other. So, we, hindi porket, hindi sila kumita that time, low, low quality product nila, that we don't get the merchant anymore. If they're willing to learn, we sit down even after, we discuss yung cut ng kanilang ano, how they can improve, uh, kung saan sila makakatipid. But, importante sa akin yung price quality. And then, tinitingnan ko rin na iba-ibang fabrics na nang ginagamit, um, from Inabel to Yakan. Uh, I make it a point that our merchants um, help different communities all over the Philippines. Kasi mm-hmm. maganda naman talaga yung mga mga fabrics natin at magaganda ang workmanship and even hand embroidery ang ganda-ganda gumawa ang Pilipino. Wow, yes. that's 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 yes. great to hear Miss Mons. But in terms of quality, pagdating doon sa materials natin, how do you like say kunyari ako, 'di ba pupunta ako sa isang store, sa pop-up store mo kunyari. Paano ko malalaman Uh, yung high quality na na barong o burda. So, madali bang makita to? Madali bang matastas to? You know, how do you determine if, you know, one piece if uh, produced with the highest level of craft craftsmanship? Uh, that's why I make sure I curate well. I make sure that um uh, madaming tumatawag sa akin mga merchants they want to join. I don't say no because mm-hmm. you always have to give mm-hmm. everyone the chance. Mm-hmm. I meet with them. I look at their products and then I tell them, uh, in order for you to sell, you have to improve on this. So, basat, um, I want our televiewers to know that basat um, benta ng katutubo, uh, it's really very good quality and we're trying to keep the prices low. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it's learning. Uh, kinakausap ko sila, inuupuan ko sila. So, pag hindi maganda masyado ang sales nila hindi maganda yung tahe, Um, I really tell them to take it off muna. Yung, yung mm-hmm. alay, yung hindi magandang quality na tayo. Mm-hmm. Uh, even yung burda, if it's too common, mm-hmm. hindi kakaiba, um, I tell them. Uh, ngayon, it, it depends then. If the person is not willing to to go with with our um, suggestions, uh-huh. well, they can, they have naman the Instagram or, or they have a website that they have, that they can probably sell their, their merchandise. But when mm-hmm. it's in our pop-up sa Katutubo, Uh, I make sure that um, we give them a good quality, That's world-class right. quality uh, merchandise to the shoppers. Para hindi madala, Tama. hindi madala ang shoppers. Tsaka babalik. Kasi so, tayo rin naman, shoppers rin tayo. Exactly. Diba? At so, tsaka mas nagiging discerning yung yes. consumers ngayon. Yes. Diba, Ms. Mons? So, yes. uh, you know, the question, Ms. Mons, is over the years, lumalaki ba yung industriya nito? Kung baga, limbawa, sabi nyo nga, Uh, which is very commendable. What you did was to go to, uh, you know, partnered with uh, uh, a brand like Bench. And then you are bringing the Philippine brand, the Filipino artistry into the mainstream. Pero tiba ang laki ng competition pagdating sa apparel. I have data here. Kunyari, sa, sa apparel market daw sa US, 4.63 billion in 2022. So, sa palagay po ninyo, nasaan yung ating industriya? Gaano siya kaliit? At paano pa siya lalago? Well, um, with regards to our fabrics, kasi I was telling um, some, ano, um, yung loom natin, maliit rin. Kasi ma- ano, maliit ang mga weavers eh, ah, from before. Ah, ah. So, ang common complaint, ang common comment sa amin, yung... Because I always encourage our merchants to, to use our Philippine fabrics. Mm-hmm. Um, pero sabi nila, ang hirap kasi ang liit, 45 wood lang. Eh talagang mm-hmm. for international standards, dapat at, at 60 or 90. Dapat ah, so mas, mas malaki. Ano. So, pero yun, ano yun talaga? Parang machine may, may, operated ba yun? Oh, o machine talagang, na yun. But syempre, oh, oh. we don't want to lose that touch of oh. having a, a Filipino doing it. But para malaki ang, ang wood, dalawa dapat. Eh mahirap yun. Oh. So um, we we have another merchant that's very good, uh, the Loom Project. All their proceeds that they that they get from our pop-ups, they donate a loom in in certain barangays, certain communities. Uh-huh. They educate the 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 weavers. The, 
pwedeng dalawa kayo, pwedeng, pwedeng para mas malaki ang weed. So it's really a, still a slow process. But we're getting there. Kailangan lang wag magbitaw. Madami during the pandemic nagsara. Nagsara ng mga, nagbebenta ng mga local uh, clothes, local, uh, nagsara sila. So parang that's why um, Katutubo is there because we don't want people to close down. Because pag nag-close down sila, saan, saan kukuha ng, ng uh, livelihood itong mga weavers natin, sewers, and we, they might end up going abroad. Okay lang mag-abroad sila, pero yung culture natin, yung beauty ng pagtatahin nila, beauty ng pag-weave nila, mawawala. And in other countries, they're so proud sa Thailand. Uh, they're so proud of their weaves, their, um, Cambodia. We, we should be proud of it too. I'm happy, again, I'm, I'm, I'm happy um, that we now have a first lady. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy I see her wearing the terno. Mm-hmm. Kasi usually icon mo kung sino ang first lady, di ba? Yes, So yes. hopefully... At saka we... kahit ang presidente. Yes. Gra- yung, yung tahi niya napaka-simple lang. Pero... He carries it well, yes. yes. At saka mm-hmm. napapansin ko iba-iba yung style ng barong niya. Hindi, hindi yung normal style. Mm-hmm. Um, our former president who was also very good, si President Duterte. Um, yung normal eh, kasi probably... Um, sa age Mentioned niya, but traditional since siya. traditional yeah. siya, but with a younger president now, very he hip be, siya, very uh, young, uh, hopefully can ex- experim- he can, can experiment. Yeah, experiment and hopefully he can influence more of our young, um, the young men and the young women to wear more barong. When we wear our local products, when we patronize our local products, we give jobs mm-hmm. and most important, we preserve our culture, okay. which we should be proud of. Yes. Uh, Napakaganda ng inyong advokasya, uh, Miss Mons. Pero paano naman yung uh, ibang mga factors na maaaring makaka-apekto ng pagninigosyo? Halimbawa, yun nga, tumataas ang presyo ng langis, andyan pa rin yung Russia-Ukraine conflict, hindi pa rin natin may iwasan yun, may pagtataas ng uh, presyo ng mga bilihin. Yun. So, uh, ito ba ay patuloy nyo rin kinoconsider din, although nagbubukas ng ekonomiya, pero ano yung mga nakikita nyo pa na factors para somehow magtuloy-tuloy yung mga merchants na laging nandyan? Are there specific incentives that you are giving them or are there discussions naman with the owners of the stores like bench or uh, the department stores to give you, you know, cheaper rents or anything? Uh, no, ang ginagawa namin dyan is um, ever since, we do not charge rent for their, air, their space. Uh, kumukuha lang kami ng um, a small amount to pay for the um, lights and sounds, kasi kailangan may lights and sounds ka, mm-hmm. for the collaterals, for the, for the billboards that we, we produce. Kasi hindi naman natin pwedeng kunin naman from my pocket rin yun, mm-hmm. di ba? So, um, bit Ever since we started seven years ago, we never raised the price of wow. of um, the merchants. I remember one time, sabi ko kay Mr. Chan, 30 na lang ang merchants natin. Eh, dati 60. Di pa paano ang, ang ano na. Sabi niya, we cannot raise the, pri- uh, the, mm-hmm. the price of, of their, their space. Kasi sila rin naman naghihirap. So, ang ginawa na lang namin, we cut down on the visuals. Dati, mm-hmm. pag pumasok ka sa Katutubo, every month, may different themes kami. Mm-hmm. Meron kami book, book. It looks like you're in a small barangay. Meron, it lo- sometimes, the next Katutubo, it looks like you're in a library. Mm-hmm. Talagang all the, ano, all the visuals were ah. there. That's where we come something exper- experiential. experiential. Meron kami, meron kami uh, uh, cow, meron kami a karitela, dati ganon. Talagang all the works. All the works. Sa bagay, ngayon, pandemic naman ngayon. Kaya maintindihan yes, nila. Maintindihan. Oh. <laughs> and priority namin is for our merchants to be able to sell. Mm-hmm. Not to increase the price of, of the space that we've given them. Um, para at least, alam namin kasi lahat umakyat. And some of them increase their prices also. The cost for their um, clothing wear or the jewelries that they sell. Pero makikita mo naman ang quality. Babalik at babalikan mo sila talaga. And some of them were able to get um, contracts sa mga big hotels because mm-hmm. apparently some big hotels go to to Katutubo and um, 
they order by the bulk from them. So that makes us happy. Mm -hmm. Wala na kami doon. But um, having... You don't get any percentage wala na from... Sa, oh, really? No, if they, get uh -huh. the, if they get already a big contract, let's say for a hotel, they're, they're required to to supply the, the covers for the beds. Mm -hmm. Kanila na yun. We had mm -hmm. another, another merchant, um, another group got them to do all the furnitures in their new hotel. Oh, that's them. Kanila na yun. Parang it's more like nagagamit rin nila ang katubo for their own networking, which hindi ka naman dapat madamot, di ba? At the end... Wow, yeah. Um, And then yeah. it's like you created um, a market linkage facility. Facility, yes. Wow, yes. very interesting. So, Now, ang, ang tanong ko mismo, bakit katutubo? Ano yung inspiration mo sa katutubo? Um, when the name, when the, you, name uh, the brand. It's positive kasi First of all, katutubo, it's, it's um, alam naman natin, uh, may mga katutubo tayong mga... In English, that's uh, native. Native, yes, native. The native. Correct. And then the other positive side, katutubo, tubo, growing, home growing, grown, home grown, uh, home home grown, grown and growing. And correct. growing, parang it's, it's flourishing. So it's, I found it such a positive uh, because we, we had a lot of names uh, that was laid out. Uh, at first, I was on my own without Ben, so I started katutubo without the help of Ben Chan. Um, so, um, yun, we, we started brainstorming on the name and I felt it was a positive name. I work um, through gut feel. Ko anong gut feel ko? Pag feel ko na it will work out, feel ko that this, uh, even if my team will say, Miss Mons, wag yan. Hindi kikita. No, 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 no. Kikita yan. They're going to, they're going to make it big here. I'm, uh, so I always work uh, by gut feel and I'm very happy Now that um, Bench provided us with a space uh, for our merchants, hindi naman sila nakikialam sa amin eh. Um, at first, yung una naming katutubo prior to Bench, ang bayaran nga sa merchant was honesty system. Kanya-kanya silang, let's say you buy from merchant A, depend, and then they just tell, declare to us how much they earned at the end of the three days. Wow. Um, but then the merchants themselves told me nahihirapan sila because they're basically artists also. Uh -huh. So when they're taking care of a client, tapos kailangan meron pa silang susuklian. <laughs> so, so again, that's why we've evolved. With yes. Bench, um, they were able to help us. Now we have a cashier, a whole cashier, uh, a, a whole system to make it easier for the merchants. Mm -hmm. And when the, it's easy for the merchants, they're inspired, they get to produce more beautiful um, merchandise, and then they get to help the sewers, and they get to help the weavers. So it's really, ano, it's really helping each other. Mm -hmm. And then the more sales they make, the more it means that we're spreading our, our culture. In short, madami, mas madaming susuot ng Philippine-made products. Mm -hmm. And yan, madami rin nagsusuot now ng mga products that they bought in Katutubo abroad. Even their mga daughters now na pinapadala na nila abroad. At saka pasalubong. Pasalubong. Diba? But according to another friend of mine, when her daughters were 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 walking through the streets of New York, mm -hmm. may mga nagkahihinturaw sa kanila asking them, I love your skirt. Saan galing yan? Wow. So, napakaganda. But again... You know, speaking of that, like say, for example, sabi mo, walking in the streets of New York, ito ba ay na-envision mo noong una na you wanted Katutubo to be an international brand? Was that also the vision that you had in mind? Um, in life, kasi I don't look that far. I make do with what's in front of me at the moment. What my passion. Wow, What, parang millennial ka, ma'am. ATM. Oh, oh, at the oh, moment. Parang, ano, at the moment, na, nasa, nasa heart ko, yung gut feel ko at that moment, that will work, that will help others, that will help me rin as a person. Um, and then, when I look back, parang, oh, ang layo na rin ang narating natin. And then you always um, do something that's out of passion, from mm -hmm. your passion, di ba? Mm -hmm. Mahal mo. Kung gusto, madaming paraan. Kung ayaw, madaming dahilan. <laughs> dahilan. So if you like something, you'll find ways talaga eh. Talagang, uh, and before you know it, um, you've reached that point na parang you're grateful to God that you're able to help a lot of people. You're able to uh, help your country by promoting mm -hmm. your culture. Just, ang, ang key lang dyan is always have, when you do something, when I started doing Katutubo, I always had good intentions. Always mm -hmm. good intentions to help. Everything falls in place. Yeah, but Miss Mons, okay. 
It's so simple when you say it, but we know, especially with the CEOs and the thought leaders I interviewed here, there's a lot of innovation and creativity, you know, that goes along, you know, with those um, uh, business plans and strategies. In your case, where do you find that innovation and inspiration? I know that you travel in different countries, but ikaw, ano ang source ninyo ng innovation? Uh, my source of innovation is, um, well, probably now having Ben Chan with me, uh, if there's some, he le lets me be, lets me do what, what should be done in Katutubo, but especially during the pandemic, I would sit down and ask him, what should we do? How do we move on to protect everyone? So I have someone, a mentor, a mentor like Ben. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yun, passion ko na talagang wanting to help and wanting to make sure that everyone has food in their, in their tables during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So hindi mo na isipin yung ano. Yeah, it's really more of helping than helping. it's uh, helping the community. Yes. Pero sa sa inyong um, pakiki uh, sa lamuha sa mga entrepreneurs sa mga merchants, you know what are their challenges and how were you able to convince them? Na sige, ituloy pa natin hangga't kaya kaya ni natin. Well, even before the pandemic, there were a lot of challenges. Wala namang negosyo, wala namang ano na walang challenges. Yung isang challenge namin, if I may say, before the pandemic was nauso isang fabric. So everywhere, because everyone loved in Abel products, iba Abel products, uh -oh. nakita ko na lahat namin, lahat ng merchants, yun ang, ginaga, yun ang fabric na ginagamit. So, I in, di ba? Uh -oh. So, I had to talk to them and tell them, um, you have to um, diversify. Try other fabrics kasi madami kaming fabric na nakitang maganda rin from other cities, other towns, mm. other barangays. And, and what are these sustainable materials? Alam natin na ang Pinoy, di ba, ang Pilipinas, yes. mula Luzon hanggang Visayas, napakaraming sustainable uh, indigenous materials. What yes. are these na gusto mong ma-feature pa sa katutubo? Um, well, um, fabrics made out of pineapple, mm. di ba? Yun, yun, kailangan i-ano rin. Uh, kasi ang ganda ng ating mga pinya barong. Mm -hmm. And the more people uh, wear pinya, hopefully, kasi ma alam natin mahalang pinya eh. Mm -mm. When you wear pinya, barong, mm -mm. hopefully the prices will go down. Kasi pag may demand, uh, madaming sumusuot, then, then at least um, madaming uh, bababa yung presyo. And at least the, the farmers, we can help more the farmers. So mm -hmm. maybe yung pinya, uh, kasi ngayon nauso ang yakan, inabel, mm -hmm. uh, Maganda pa rin ang pinya at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's still a beautiful fabric. Elegant, no? Elegant fabric. And it's helping also the farmers. Mm -hmm. Not only the weavers, but the farmers. But when you go to Katudubo, hindi lang fabric. So parang sinasabi mo kanina, ah. there are furniture, there's earrings, yeah, yes, there's jewelry. Yes. Ano, ano, so we wanted to make it a one-stop uh, shop for everyone. Mm -hmm. So even hanggang food. May mga puto, the best puto sa doon. Um, we have um, Carmen and Consortia, a uh, very good uh, food su uh, food supplier. Na he gets all the best from Bulacan and puts it together uh -oh. and packages it in a night. Because the packaging uh -oh. is yes, hindi maganda. Oh. Eh. And you know, normally first day, parang oh, so may pagkain din sa katutubo. May pagkain, ah. may jewelry, my shoes. It's clothes from clothes. Uh -oh. And then now we have um, big also designers who. Because nawala nawala ng ano ng events ng designers uh, during the pandemic, so we have Pepito Albert. Um, mm -hmm. I think he did the he does the gowns of sila Irene Marcos ah, Araneta. Yes, and he did the barong of President mm -hmm. uh, Marcos during the inauguration. We have Pepito Albert. We have we have um, J C Buendia. We have Rhett Ayala. Mm -hmm. So imagine we have uh, we have Randy Ortiz. We have these uh -oh. big designers Top now designers, joining yeah. pop ups and selling their 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 clothes at a good price. Uh -oh. Hindi mahal. Kasi, oh, kasi pag RTW, them, pag oh. RTW talaga, mas naglo lower ang price kaysa made to order. Uh -oh. So so when you go to Katutubo, you'll see the big designers. You also see upcoming designers. 
you'll see um, craftsmen there um, selling jewelry, um, even hanggang pagkain nga. What about you know, furniture? May furniture? Furniture, we have furnitures, we have lamps, we have... Uh, so, kung anong gusto ng shoppers, yun ang ibinibigay namin. But normally, ang furnitures kasi normally yan pag mga October, November, doon sila malakas. Kapag kung hindi ko, ko kayo na meet Miss Mons, hindi ko alam ang konsepto ng pop-up market. Ah. <laughs> so, when you say pop-up market sa mga, ano, sa mga small businesses at sa mga viewers natin, ano ba? ang konsepto ng pop-up market. Well, diretsuhin ko na lang. Sa Tagalog, sa masa, tiyangge. Ayun, tiyangge. Pop-up, oh, oh. pop-up pa oh, oh, tayo, tiyangge. Pero tiyangge, <laughs> but then we're, we, we did it at a higher level. Ngayon, naka-aircon. Yes. Naka-aircon para mas convenient sa shoppers. Kasi pag nagsusukat ka ng damit, ang hirap na naman pag mainit, ah. di ba? So, in-elevate na lang namin. Alam mo, ang key naman dyan to everyone, to sa, lahat sa atin, even, even sa food, we always have to elevate um, the experience of every Filipino uh, mm -hmm. catering to our products. I mean, what time makontento ko anong nandiyan na? I mean, let's make it world class. So, in elevate, in elevate namin ang changge. <laughs> Wow, yes. oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm. Ayan, ang dami nating natutunan. Now, um, Miss Mons, alam natin na yung Filipino brand, di ba? Parang pagkatulad ng sinabi mo, di ba? Meron tayong Filipiniana, may terno, merong kimono, tama, kimono. Barotsaya. Barotsaya. Pero sa palagay mo, as someone who... Um, really promotes the culture of the Philippines. It may be cliche, but is there a Filipino identity talaga na when you see, lalo na po, you are well-traveled, when you see it, you know that it is distinctly Filipino. And what is that? Terno. Our terno pa rin. And our fabrics, our fabrics, our weaves. You, you will be able to tell that it's distinctly Filipino. But ang terno is... Filipino, it's ours. So we have to be proud of that. Na iba lang, dati ang terno nung unang panahon, kaya hindi wearable. Kasi ang tunay na terno talaga, malaki. Malaki ang butterfly. Ah, malaki. Oh. So, oh, Parang yung ginagamit ni Melda Marcos before, noon, Madam. Noon, before. Ma Madam, before. Uh -oh. um, mahirap suotin yan for everyday. Pero if you notice, I've noticed, even her terno butterfly sleeves, lumiit na. Oh, yeah. Kasi may certain uh -oh. talagang, ano uh -oh. yan eh, may certain, uh, Ben Chan has a terno po, that they really adhere to the, to the, the standard, standard pattern. Oh, pattern. Oh, But I for see. katutubo and for, we try to make it more wearable. So, liniitan na namin ang butterfly sleeves. Para at least, ano. So, terno, wearing terno. In fact, there was a foreign brand, I don't know if I can mention, but... Go ahead. Uh, Gucci. Okay, yeah. Um, he was, they had a design that's similar oh, really? to a terno. And I can tell you, I'm sure they were inspired, inspired by Arteno. Oh, really? Yeah. It's really oh, oh, ours. Oh. Eh. Was it in the movie? No, it was oh, in, in their, it was ah, in their, their window catalog. displays. Ah, ca catalog. I see. It was being sold just this year. I see. This really? Year lang. Oh. So, hopefully, um, we get to see more bigger, bigger brands or even... Mm. Ang dream ko ngayon is seeing foreigners wearing wow. our local weaves and our... our Our terno. Yeah, but our... is that your plan? Are you looking at maybe influencers, stars, international stars who are traveling? Like right now, somehow, there are... Ano, Pag-usapan natin, ma'am, ang K-drama, yes, hindi ba? Oo. So with the K-dramas, di ba, when you watch Netflix, di ba, parang they promote the Korean Hanggang culture. Hanggang pagkain nila. Di ba? So tayo ba, nakikita mo ba, darating tayo sa panahon na gano'n? I think darating tayo sa panahon na gano'n. We just, kailangan lang magtsaga tayo. Kailangan lang, we have to persevere. And we have to be an example too. Like, I cannot, I cannot promote Katutubo if I don't wear what, what our merchants are, are wearing. We have to make it normal to wear something Filipino. And, that, and, and then, hopefully, when the movie industry um, gets back, mm -hmm. hopefully... Which is slowly coming slowly back. Slowly coming uh -uh, back. Uh -uh. Hopefully then that um, they can also... help promote yung pansit natin. Ay, yung mga local, uh -huh. ano, local food, bibingka. Uh -huh. I mean, para makita pa rin, ano, I remember nung K-drama, nung at the height of um, pandemic, 
nagboom ata ang Korean food eh. everywhere because that's what we all would see. <laughs> yeah, that's diba? right. And yeah. I'm sure you know we mm-hmm. both tried them. But we can do that. We can do that. I think uh, hopefully with our new government and we have a first lady now mm-hmm. and um, uh, the sister of the the presidency Irene uh, Araneta is really into uh, wearing our uh, Philippine wear. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we get back to that track and be able to maintain and make it normal for everyone mm-hmm. um, wearing something Filipino. Now, Ms. Mons, alam natin na uh, advocacy yan. Your investment there is your uh, Pawis, Hira, Pagod. Ngayon, what is it that you are uh, looking for in terms of support? What can the private sector and also the government can do to help the industry? Because Sabi mo nga, unti-unti na nagbabalikan, di ba? Dati, marami yung merchants. Pero dahil nagbukas na ang, ang ekonomiya, I'm sure mas marami nang babalik yan. Ano ang nakikita ninyong dapat na maibigay na suporta sa industriyang ito? Well, uh, hopefully, first, like, let's say sa TV, TV and film industry, they were all exposed to watching Netflix and K-drama. during the COVID, I'm sure they realize that pag nakikita mo lagi that, that they patronize their, the Korean food, the, uh, their, their culture. So hopefully now, we also do that um, when we do our TV shows, when our uh, movies, hopefully slowly mapasok yung culture natin doon. Mm. Uh, and then sa private sector, even, even sa pangkalahatang, lalo na sa mga kabataan, uh, that They make wearing of our Filipino wear normal already. Mm-hmm. Um, kailangan kasi, we have naman Instagram eh. So mm-hmm. hopefully if um, media comes back talaga, even events, hopefully in events we see more people wearing Filipino wear. And when people reading the papers and the magazines or watching TV see, see them wearing this, it becomes normal and, and accessible in malls and, and Katutubo. Hopefully, we see them wearing it everywhere already, even in lunches, children's party, mm-hmm. birthdays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hindi na for a, weddings. A, a, weddings or a national <laughs> event or yeah. linggo ng wika. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, when you speak, you know, there, we can sense, you know, that nationalism. Um, Where is it coming from? I know that you come from a very illustrious family with your last name. Is it the legacy also of the Romulo family and your lineage to promote this? Is this the, the vision also you know, that you want established and maintain not only for um, the you know, un- local entrepreneurs here in the Philippines, but helping them go to the international market? Um, well, growing up uh, with my dad as a uh, public servant, and then now my brother and my son, um, my dad never dictated to us kasi what, what, what we should do, where we should go, what, what, um, that we should always wear Filipino attire. Wala, walang dinikta yung daddy ko. Pero nakita namin, by example, Uh, that that he would always wear barong with pride when he was DFA secretary uh, talagang gusto niya magandang barong tagalog niya even abroad so talagang very ano siya sa pag uh, plancha ng kanyang mga barong um, he, to carry it well kasi when you carry it well it attracts other other foreigners and kapo mong Pilipino abroad to wear it so siguro doon ko lang nakita sa, sa daddy ko um, And then I would go to government, like what I told you earlier, to government um, events, meetings, and then hindi na ako makapalit, going to a, a dinner, a social dinner. Uh, tapos medyo nagtatawanan sila pag naka-Filipiniana ako. Pero I was still proud, kahit na parang hindi ko, siguro nga, it's in the heart of, of our family. Siguro patriotic, uh, uh, patriotism, um, that's how... Uh, we were brought up by, by my parents, my dad. Wow. My dad. Uh, before I ask the last question, hindi yan alam mo nga. Ha? Ha? Hindi, oh, tama, hindi oh. dinidikta sa amin. Hindi, Correct. Kasi di ba ang tao, the more mo idikta, the more uh, ayaw, ayaw gawin. Oh, oh. So, seeing, ano, siguro, that's where we saw it. 
Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Marami pang tanong pero kulang tayo sa oras. Pero ano ang mapapayo nyo sa mga entrepreneurs na pumasok sa mga ganitong negosyo? Kasi maaring ang iba, nag-online selling sila. Pero kumbaga mga imported kasi minsan napapanood ko rin yun. Pero maganda rin naman yun pagkakakitaan. Pero ano sa palagay ninyo ang potential naman ng mga Filipino products para bumida sa merkado? Uh, first of all, ang masasabi ko lang sa ating mga um, negosyante, lalo na yung mga gumagawa ng mga using local materials, ano talaga, first of all, quality. Quality. Give good, good quality to your customers and they'll always go back. But and aside from that, you have to have the passion for it. Kasi pag wala kang passion, hindi mo hilig talaga, eh, wala, whatever you do, uh, mabigat yon, di ba? They say nga, when you enjoy something, when you enjoy your work, it's not work for you. So you have to, first of all, um, have the passion for it. Two, yung quality, high quality, para maba- mabalikan ka. Katulad itong suot ko, limang taon na ito, yung sapatos ko. Uh, ano na rin eh, kailangan, kailangan, we have to be at par with, yun ang sinasabi nila sa imported, mas matibay raw, kaya sa imported raw, bumibili ang ibang, uh, pil- iba nating kapo Pilipino. But now, I think na, na uh, ano na rin sa local kasi nalalaman nila na talagang um, uh, matibay, matibay yung, yung workmanship at maganda rin, maganda rin yung design. So yun, uh, first of all, passion, you have to love what you're doing, but you have to also give the best quality. Uh, no, never shortchange, never shortchange and always have good intentions. You cannot be greedy eh. Pag greedy ka, you'll always be unhappy. Always have good intentions and everything will fall into place. I think yun ang basic sa any negosyante naman eh. Diba? Pag, pag narinig mo yung negosyante ng dadaya, ya, i, aanoyin mo na yan eh. You turn your back on them, mahirap makipagnegosyo dyan. Mandadaya. But kung alam mo yung tao um, is gives you good quality, is is um, an expert because that's their passion, Mm-mm. Pupunta, pupuntahan mo yung tao yan. No, not necessarily, even even in broadcasting, di ba? Makikinig ka sa isang taong um, alam mong who lives by what they say, di ba? So, um, pa example na lang. Just always uh, have good intentions in everything you do. Give good quality, good products. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, the camera is there. Ano po ang minsahe ninyo sa ating mga viewers para naman tangkilikin ang sariling atin. Well, sa mga nagtatang tumangkilik ng katutubo, PH, uh, maraming maraming salamat. Madami kayong natutulungan uh, from our weavers, our sewers, uh, lalo na nung pandemya. Marami kayong natulungan pamilya uh, kasi kailangan pa rin nila ng sweldo para sa kanilang pang-araw-araw na kabuhayan. Basically lang, ang gusto ko lang, uh, sana makita natin na every Filipino will wear their culture with pride all the time. Uh, kasi at the end of the day, yan ang something we can be proud of all over the world. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you so much, the founder of Katutubo. This has been a very nationalistic afternoon. Maraming salamat, Ms. Mons Romolo, sa pagpapaunlak mo na bumisita dito sa studio ng Open for Business. Thank you, Pat P, you know, for yeah. inviting uh, our friend Miss Mons Romolo, the founder of Katutubo. Open for Business will be back. Stay with us. Speaking of being Filipino, here's another one that's making its mark in the world of blockchain. Vention Smart Chain or VSC. It is the first Filipino-owned blockchain maintained and operated by Vention App. With the popularity of NFTs, the development team first created the Vention App Marketplace. And now here is VSC, a blockchain to call our own. Let's have a look. Vention App is the first NFT marketplace in the Philippines. Hello mga Kavention, I'm Diana Meredith. Hello mga Kavention, I'm Marvin Fabius.
Guys, naasahan po namin kayo na makita at masuri itong energy. Welcome back to Open for Business. Here are the business news around the world. GDP to reach 7% in 2022. The country's GDP is still expected to hit 7% this year, according to Banco Central ng Pilipinas Governor Felipe Medalia. This optimism to reach at least the lower end of the government's economic target remains despite the effects of rising fuel prices on consumer demands. Turkey registered an almost 80% inflation rate in June, its highest in almost two decades. Prices rose by 78.6% versus June 2021, due mainly to rising costs of food and drink and transportation. Its currency has also suffered losing over 20% of its value against the U.S. dollar since the beginning of 2022. European Union to Tame Crypto Market EU lawmakers agreed on groundbreaking rules to regulate crypto assets as pressure mounts to curb the sector. According to news reports, crypto assets are generally unregulated in the global market. And for our millennial feature, the generational cohort with the widest ethnic diversity is the millennials. Many of them were reared in immigrant-related, ethnically diverse families. Clothing has long been seen as the epitome of conventional, traditional beauty. Excellent design adapts to the constantly changing and functional aesthetic demands that consumers have of a product. Modern youth are renowned for reinventing everything and offering it a fresh perspective. This is also evident in their fashion sense. Here are some ways for adding a contemporary spin to your traditional attire. First, specify color and print details. Be sure to employ colors and prints in your clothing in the right ways. While mixing and matching is wonderful, being precise with your wardrobe earns you more points. Second, make a statement. When it comes to ethnic clothing, people often go overboard with jewelries, which makes them look trashy. Make a statement properly. Be cautious to limit your standout pieces to just one. Keep one piece of jewelry in particular so people may notice it. Third, layer up your fabric. The foundation of the entire ensemble is a high-quality fabric. Equally crucial to ethnic clothing is layering. 
Layering over your everyday clothing can instantly upgrade the entire ensemble. While the fashion change with time, its fundamentals do not. In addition, its beautiful folds and embellishments can make you appear just as contemporary and attractive. Style and comfort can coexist harmoniously as this generation has amply demonstrated. If you are eager to make a fashion statement with unique looks, wearing ethnic clothing appropriately will undoubtedly help you get started. I am Jasmine Agustin for Open for Business. Open for Business is at the helm. Bulacan Icozon sa unang araw ng panunungkulan ni President Bongbong Marcos. Nagpa siya siyang i-veto ang panukalang batas na bubuo sa Bulacan Airport City Special Economic Zone and Free Ports. Subalit ang hakbang na ito ay hindi para tutulan ang proyekto kundi para bigyan ng pagkakataon ang Kongreso na ayusin ang mga depekto sa ipapanukala. Ayon sa tagapagsalita ni PBBM, buo ang suporta ng Pangulo sa Bulacan Eco Zone ngunit nais muna niyang maging pulido ang batas na dismaya ang kapatid ng presidente na si Senator Amy Marcos sa pagvito at sinabing posibleng magkaroon ito ng negatibong epekto sa local at foreign investors. President Marcos explained that the provisions pose substantial fiscal risks to the country and expressed concerns over the infringement on or conflict with other agencies' mandates and authorities. Nilinaw naman ng palasyo na ang pagtatayo ng International Airport sa Bulacan ay hindi maaapektuhan ng veto at nakatakdang matuloy dahil ang prangkisa ng San Miguel Corporation ay inaprubahan na ng Senado at Kongreso noong 2020. 740 billion pesos ang ininvest ng SMC sa 2,500 hektaryang lupain sa Bulacan. Higit sa lahat, ang isinasaalang-alang ni Pangulong Marcos ay ang kapakanan ng mga mamamayan na nagbabayad ng buwis sa kanyang pahayag, binigyang diin niya na ang buwis ng taong bayan ang sasalo ng problema kung hindi ito masusolusyonan. Maligayang anibersaryo sa mga kapatid ng Iglesia ni Cristo, sampo ng pamunuan nito sa pangungunan ng Executive Minister kapatid na Eduardo Manalo. Sana po ang katuluan mula sa banal na akla na ibinabahagi ng Iglesia sa mga kapatid ay maging ilaw na magbibigay liwanag sa kanilang pagtak sa daan ng buhay araw-araw. At sana ay lumawak pa ang impluensyang espiritual ng Iglesia ni Cristo sa Sunday Digan. Happy 108th Anniversary! Ako po si Salvador Sal Panama. Open for Business is back and our biz word is pop-up retail. It is a retail store or a pop-up shop that is open temporarily to take advantage of a fattish trend or seasonal demand. Demand for products sold in pop-up retail is typically short-lived or related to a particular holiday. Pop-up retail stores are found most often in the apparel and toy industries. Bringing forth our culture to the general market through fashion is a Herculean task. Challenges such as fast fashion, cheap imported clothing pieces, colonial mentality, and access to market face advocates of those wanting to elevate Filipino craftsmanship. As fashion is the most visual way of expressing oneself, style and identity, it is our hope that the Filipino culture gets amplified strongly through our clothes and accessories. Our Asian neighbors have successfully promoted their own culture through fashion, but take as a case in point. Maybe one day we hear in a bell, Yakan Pina, Husi, Abaka, Tinalak, to name a few be distinctly known in the global stage as uniquely
Filipino. And with that, our quote of the week is from Coco Chanel. Fashion is not something that exists in dresses only. Fashion is in the sky, in the street. Fashion has to do with ideas, the way we live, what is happening. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood at maraming salamat sa aming guest, Miss Mon Stromolo. Maraming salamat sa isang oras na pagsama sa amin upang tunghayan ang isang makabuluhang usapan sa negosyo dito lang sa Open for Business. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan nyo kaming muli dito sa Open for Business. Catch us too on Facebook and YouTube. Like and subscribe on our social media page at Net25 TV. We will bring more insights from industry experts, thought leaders, CEOs, and featured SMEs. Together, let us help encourage business development in the Philippines. Sharpen your business acumen. Feel the pulse and set the trend for as long as you're informed and open for business. Ito po si Cesar Vallejos. Maraming salamat.